Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the NACTA webinar series. Today, our focus feature is going to be Kara. She is with the, uh, the, the Bahamas Ministry. She is the sales and marketing manager for here in the U.S., and she is our, our contact. She's going to give us some wonderful information on the Bahamas. I can't wait to hear about it. I want to give a little bit of housekeeping. As many of you know, my name is Lorraine Romero. I am the NACTA webinar moderator. Before we get going, I want to remind everybody that you are on mute, and that is to keep any background sound from happening so that we get a really clear recording of this. I will be putting this up on the NACTA YouTube channel tomorrow. I will also send a follow-up link to you that will give you the URL for the YouTube channel so that you can listen to this recording at a future time. I also want to encourage everybody to sign up just to be subscribed to our YouTube channel. Every once in a while, Lisa Watson will post a really helpful webinar that's short, how to change your passcode, how to work on your one sheet, how to get it into your NACTA profile to make any changes. So keep a heads up, subscribe for that. We will have a Q&A session at the very end of Cara's presentation, and I want to make sure to get everybody the opportunity to be able to ask her questions. So please put your questions in the question box, and that way I will read it at the very end of her presentation, and we'll get your questions answered. If you have any questions for me directly, Lorene, please put them in the chat box. That way I will get to you privately. So for now, Cara, I'm going to turn the reins over to you. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And I really want to thank you for supporting NACTA and being part of our family. And I'm going to put myself on mute so that way you have an uninterrupted uh, presentation. Here you go. Thank you, Lorraine. It's such a pleasure, and we're excited to be here today also. I want to thank you for joining us today. My name is Kira Manuzzi. As Lorraine said, I'm the National Trade Program Manager here at the Bahamas Tourist Office. My official position is that of General Manager Sales and Marketing. So thank you very much, and thank you for your interest in our destination. We hope you enjoy the webinar today. Our topic today is very interesting. It's called the three Gs of the Bahamas. And that encompasses the geology, geography, and geohistory of our destination. We want you to keep these natural and historical wonders in mind when designing vacation experiences for your clients. So let's get started. We are 700 islands and keys in the Bahamas. We always say it's too small to be a key, we call it an island. Too small to be an island, we call it a key. So a lot of those are little rocks jutting out of the water that we count. But there are 16 major islands. We're just 20 minutes off the coast of South Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. And so we're so happy for you to be here today. But remember, we're easily accessible. Your clients can be having lunch on the beach while many others are still traveling. That's how close we are. We always say, in Florida, if someone sneezes, we catch a cold. <laughs> so moving right along, the Bahamas is spread out from, we're located between Florida and Cuba, and we're spread out in the Atlantic Ocean. To the north is Grand Bahama Island, and to the south is Inagua. We have a vacation experience for your clients for the 365 days of the year. Exuma alone has 365 keys, and you'll find out more about Exuma as we move right along. We're a great destination for everyone. For your mountain climbers, we can introduce them to our abyss off the coast of Andres for a great descent. For your hunters, we can introduce them to spare fishing throughout our waters. For your eco enthusiasts, we can introduce them to the backwoods of Andres. And for those who like being off grid, we have something for them also. Megona and Inagua are the perfect locations for them. For your high-end client then, clientele, we can introduce them to the Ocean Club and Great Cliff, a five-star restaurant for the ultimate in dining experience. And for those who are your advent golfers, 
they can try our link style course at the Abaco Club at Winding Bay in the beautiful island of Abaco. There's something I want you to notice before we move on. Our logo at the bottom left hand corner of your screen is a shot of all of our islands of the Bahamas. It's representative of them. You see the yellow blurb at the um, circle at the left hand corner and the small green one. The green is Bimini and the yellow is Andres, which is the largest island. And of course, the red is Nassau, as you can see in the middle. So our logo correlates to the islands. So that's a great way for you to really get to know our destination. The word Bahamas means shallow seas. When Christopher Columbus landed here in 1492, that's what he said. These are shallow seas, and it's certainly beautiful. You will see this when we get to the Exuma slides. The waters are what I call popsicle blue, and every shade in between. And the Bahamas is certainly, as the astronauts say, one of the most beautiful and recognizable places from space. And why is the water shallow? Because the Gulf Streams coming around Florida runs north. We have oceanic trenches where sediment is embedded. And we have sand that covers them. And we have no river runoff. So geo geographically, geo geology-wise, we are the perfect destination for your clients to experience water that's truly clear, warm, Almost drinkable if it wasn't for the salt, but certainly delightful. We've come a long way from Columbus's first landfall in 1492 on the island of San Salvador. We gained independence in 1973. We are a sovereign country, although we belong to the Commonwealth of Nations. And your clients entering the Bahamas will clear U.S. customs and immigration in the Bahamas. So when they exit the Bahamas, they will land as a domestic client in the United States. So really, it's easy to travel in and out of the Bahamas for your clients in the USA. Now the first island we're going to come to is Bimini. Bimini is actually the closest offshore island of the Bahamas to the United States, some 32 miles off the coast of Florida. If it's a clear night, you can actually see the lights of Miami from Bimini. That's how close it is. And so for a quick getaway, it's the perfect destination for your clients. Bimini is likely our most infamous and most famous island all at the same time. It's certainly an experience. Historically, Adam Clayton Powell, if, if any of you remember a little bit of your history, was the congressman who always wreaked havoc in Washington, D.C., and he would escape by flying down to Bimini and just hanging out in Bimini and hiding out to avoid interrogations. And then, of course, Martin Luther King's monument here on the right side we, is, is here commemorating his famous mountaintop speech, which he wrote while vacationing on the island of Bimini. And your clients can certainly experience that up close and personal on the island of Bimini. They can take a boat to the monument site where Martin Luther King would bone fish and contemplate on his um, speeches and write them. And, and, and he came out with a great experience, the mountaintop experience, which he wrote and it became famous. Also on the island of Bimini is what we call Healing Hole. It's a swimming area in the marshes of Bimini. And legendary-wise, people have said that they've felt revigorated, they've had cures, they feel healthier, so we call it a healing hole, and your clients can certainly experience that when they're in Bimini. Ponce de Leon was said to have found the fountain of youth in Bimini, and it's a well on Bimini, your clients can go there, um, drink some of the water, and it's said to restore your youth. Now my colleague, Leonard is said to have experienced the youth. He tells me he's 60, but he looks 40. So <laughs> we have yet to see. So I'll look at him again when he's 80. <laughs> but definitely, the fountain of youth, a must stop while your clients are in Bimini. And many of you know the story of Gary Hart and Monkey Business and how he lost his bid for presidency 
because he was caught on a boat in Bimini. So famous and infamous, Bimini is there. Ernest Hemingway made it famous with his fishing exploits and the books that he wrote there while on Bimini. But Bimini is definitely famous with blue islands, blue marlins that team the waters around Bimini. It's deep sea fishing, the Bimini Road, which is said to be underwater, of course. So Bimini is definitely there for your clients. And for accommodation-wise, it runs the gamut from small mom and pops, bed and breakfast, and of course, the Bim Resort World Bimini, which is definitely the largest hotel on the island. And your clients can choose from condos to vacation homes or villas, and, um, or, uh, or, or the Hilton at Resort World Bimini standard hotel room, of course. We have one, two, three, and four bedroom villages on property, and Bimini is Bay Hotel and Resort where Bimini is said to have six beaches. So almost a beach for every day, right? Yes. Next island we come to is Grand Bahama Island. It is our most northern island in the Bahamas, and Grand Bahama, I call it one of the best nature-based destinations in the Caribbean. Okay, we have many things to offer your clients, and if they have on their bucket list things to do that is on the water, underwater, or near the water, you can certainly find it in Grand Bahama. From water skiing to parasailing to cave exploration, cave diving, jet skiing, riding motorbikes through the city of, of Freeport, they can fulfill these while on the island of Grand Bahama. We have one of the largest dive facilities called UNESCO, the Underwater Explorer Society. They can make arrangements if you have advent divers who want to experience diving a cave. Grand Bahama has one of the largest underwater cave systems in the world. They can certainly make arrangements to do that. And of course, if they want to do a dolphin encounter, a dolphin swim, or a dolphin dive, UNESCO can also arrange that. If they want to go kayaking, there are mangroves on the island of Grand Bahama. They can have a tour to experience and learn about the ecosystems on the island and how that's so important to conservation and to water runoffs during storms and hurricanes and that we shouldn't really build on the shores. And the guides are very experienced and educated and they go through all of this um, for your clients, a complete tour and a complete educational experience. And at the end, they get to um, ride in the kayaks through the mangrove and as well as spend some time on the beach in Grand Bahama Island. Okay, and for accommodations on Grand Bahama, we have Pelican Bay Hotel it's on the left, the left column. The three slides on the left is Pelican Bay Hotel. It's on a peninsula overlooking the beautiful Lacayan Waterway, about 187 rooms, very eclectic. Each room has a balcony. I always recommend it to your clients who want something different. They will love Pelican Bay. In the center of the screen is the Grand Lucayan, which is Grand Bahama's main um, resort facility with three pools. Uh, Grand Lucayan is great for your meetings and incentives, singles, couples, and families. It's on the beach. And I always say Grand, Grand Lucayan has some of the best water views on the entire island of Grand Bahama. Next to Grand Lucayan, at the right column, is Memories, our all-inclusive resort. Great for families and those wanting an all-inclusive experience. Now this is Lucayan Beach area. We call Port Lucayan. Right across the street from the three of these hotels is our Port Lucayan Festival Marketplace, which has over 30 stores, restaurants, nightly entertainment as well, and a marina. So it's a great location. Grand Bahama is a great cosmopolitan experience for your clients. We call Grand Bahama the bride of the Bahamas, and we call Nassau the groom. So if you want to see what our bride is dressed for, and <laughs> you can certainly visit Grand Bahama Island. Okay. So all your nature-based clients remember this destination, Grand Bahama. So the next island we come to is Eleuthera. And Eleuthera is the birthplace of the Bahamas. We have what we call your Plymouth Rock, happened in Grand Bahama at the lower left-hand corner of your screen is Preacher's Cave. 
That's where the Puritans or the Lutheran adventurers first landed in the Bahamas. And they sought shelter in this cave at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. While well, Eleuthera has come a long way since the Puritans, it has a lot of historic villages, off the beaten path experiences, cliffs, pineapple fields, and if your clients would like a Moffat's vineyard type experience, I would recommend Harbor Island to them. They cannot go wrong. And for accommodations, I just love the accommodations on Eleuthera. They're so eclectic, so different, so unique. So the first on the left-hand corner of your screen is Pineapple Fields. It's on the main island of Eleuthera. And Harbor Island is a small key off Eleuthera. So you're either on Harbor Island or you're on the main island. But Pineapple Fields is definitely a must. It was voted the top 25 hotels in the Caribbean. 32 rooms in eight buildings. It's famous Tippy's restaurant. It's a hangout for both locals and visitors. It's on a gorgeous, beautiful beach that certainly you have to, have to be seen to believe. But Eleuthera is definitely one of my favorite islands in the Bahamas. Although I love them all, I certainly recommend it highly. Lush Life is a typical beach house type facility. Seats 20 persons. If you have a small group or a family who would like to get away to do some bonding, some family time, great photos, great memories that can be created here, this is certainly the hotel for them. The Colby Luthera is on the mainland of Eleuthera as well. With 60 rooms, it's a total romantic sanctuary. Great for honeymooners, great for those who want rest and relaxation, great for those who want great food, great for your clients who want to be in a little small town type or village type setting. And now on the island of Harbor Island, you remember I said Harbor Island is an island off the coast of Eleuthera. So we always uh, um, combine them together, Eleuthera and Harbor Island. Harbor Island, your clients would have that Martha Vineyards type experience. And the first hotel we're going to talk about there is Pink Sand Hotel. It's a classic hotel, the traditional hotel on Harbor Island. And upscale, very upscale, 23 beachfront cottages. It's on Harbor, on three, on Pink Sands Beach, a three mile beach on Harbor Island. So I highly recommend Pink Sands for your upscale clients who want better elegance. Valentine's Residences and Marina Hotel is on the harbor side of Harbor Island. It's a world-class hotel uh, with 46 rooms. It's on a marina. And, uh, one of our most popular dive facilities is located at the hotel. There's a spa, a pool. It's in the heart of the town on the marina. Your clients staying here can also walk to Pink Sands Beach, the Three Mile Beach, that covers the span of the island. The marina hotels on one side, Pink Sand Beach hotels, or, I mean, Pink Sand Beach hotels on the other. So Harbor Island is small. Your Martha's Vineyard type experience, white picket fences. Your clients would delight in being there. Now, a special hotel is the Landing, famous for its wine cellars as well as its owner. A lot of people go there just to see her. It's a historic landmark. Um, built in the 1800s, boutique style. For those who want uh, the bed and breakfast type experience, I highly recommend the landing on Harbor Island. So you've seen the hotels on Eleuthera, you've seen the hotels on Harbor Island, you've seen some of the natural wonders of Eleuthera, the cliffs, um, the surf, your clients can go windsurfing. If they like cliffs and dramatic views, rolling hills, Eleuthera is definitely the island for them. And Eleuthera, with its famous Pink Sand Beach, is second to none. Here's another shot of the Pink Sand Beach where the sand is actually pink. Comes from the pink corals that are breaking up by the waves and then washes on shore. Very fine, very powdery um, Pink Sand Beach. Now here's a better shot of Eleuthera with its long winding roads, cliffs on one side, and its um, tranquil waters of the Caribbean on the other. So you can clearly see where the dark Atlantic Ocean meets the Caribbean, calm, tranquil waters uh, um, um, on the sea, on the left-hand side. So where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Caribbean Sea is where we have the island of Eleuthera. So beautiful and picturesque. Now we're going to come to our most southern island, which is Inagua. And I love Inagua. 
But for your clients who want to be off the beaten path, this is a great destination for them. Now, Inagua is known for its salt production. Morton Salt Company produces about a million pounds of salt here each year, and it's the third largest saline plant in North America. But the salt ponds around Inagua is just not home to Morton Salt Company. It's also home to over 180,000 Bahamian flamingos, which are a national bird. And this is something, a sight to behold, um, the flamingos in flight. So if your clients want an equal type experience, they want to be off the beaten path, they want a safari-like experience, they don't have to go to Africa. They can come to the Bahamas and experience the same thing. Animals in their natural habitat. A different type of animal, but in their natural habitat still. It's not the big three, but the flamingos are prettier to me. So think about it. There's a, many, uh, several bed and breakfast accommodations on the island that they can um, certainly stay at. And our, our um, BDMs in your area can certainly assist with that. Now we come to Exuma, one of my favorite islands as well. Exuma is just beautiful. We had, I had mentioned earlier about the popsicle blue waters. And the colors of the waters in Exuma are every shade of blue and green, aqua, and everything in between. But Exuma is not only known for its iguanas at the top left-hand corner of your screen, but its marine safari type experience. Remember we talked about safari experiences in Africa? You don't have to go there. The islands of the Bahamas offer safari-like experiences. And there are actual tours that would take you to see the different marine type experiences around the island. If you want to see sharks, you want to see nurse sharks, you want to see baby shark sanctuary. Exuma has a large land and sea national park. It has 365 keys, once for each day of the year. Each key is different. Some are privately owned by many famous people like Pitbull, like Johnny Depp, some of my favorite actors as well. Tyler Perry owns an island there. But you don't have to own an island. You can have an island-like experience in one of our island-type resorts on Exuma, which we'll show you in a few minutes. But it's also the official home of the swimming pigs. This is a natural wonder, ladies and gentlemen. Big Major Key is home to the famous swimming pigs. There are several stories of how the pigs got there. Nobody knows for sure, but the pigs show up. When the boats show up, the pigs show up. And they swim out to the boats. So for an out-of-this-world experience, a unique experience that's like none other, I would definitely recommend the experiences of Exuma. In addition to all that I've mentioned, we have at the top left-hand corner of your screen, Thunderball Grotto. Thunderball Grotto was the site of the James Bond Thunderball film. And it's still popular today. People still love to experience it. They cannot believe what nature has carved out without man's input. So definitely a visit to James Bond Thunderbolt Grotto is a part of your marine safari experience. Another experience that your clients have probably never had is the sandbars of Exuma. You can walk out along the seashore into the sea on sandbars, take a chair, sit down, read a book, take pictures surrounded by the water, and walk back to the, to the mainland. And that's an experience like none other. Nature at its best, ladies and gentlemen. And to the right bottom corner of your screen is Tropic of Cancer Beach, and I think the most beautiful beach in the world. Scott Kelly, the astronaut, tweeted his daughter from outer space that he has seen the most beautiful place in the world. And he was looking at the waters in the Bahamas, and particularly around Exuma. So ladies and gentlemen, second to none are Bahamian waters and the waters of Exuma. You have to experience it. Your clients have to experience it. It's something to behold. I, words cannot describe it. And so for an island-like experience in, in Exuma, Musha Key, which is owned by David Copperfield. And when Mr. Copperfield has finished with his show in Las Vegas, this is his hideout, Musha Key in the Bahamas. And he's opened it up to guests, five guest houses, 
It seats about uh, holds about 24 persons. So for your clients who have small groups, maybe they want to have board of directors meetings, or they just want to have small corporate um, um, get-togethers, definitely Mushuk Key is a must for them. And the islands of Copperfield Bay has its own driving theater, its own gymnasium, um, beach houses and villas on property, great dining, great food. And of course, David Copperfield always adds to his collection, worldwide collection of interesting artifacts on the property as well. So a great experience. Your clients don't have to buy an island. They can experience their own island by uh, um, participate by um, purchasing Mushiki for the day, for the weekend, for the week. Right? And then also in the center for a traditional resort type experience, we have Sandals All Inclusive in Georgetown, scheduled to reopen, was closed for renovations, scheduled to reopen December 15th. It's an all inclusive 225 rooms offering butler service and of course the Greg Norman Golf Course. And Sandals has its own standard for excellence. We highly recommend it. Um, I always love this resort when I go there. Sandals is always adding to it, upgrading it. And it's certainly on par for your most discriminating clients. And next to Sandals, we have Grand Isle Villas. It's right actually next door to Sandals and right next to the golf course as well. 78 villa type accommodations. And if you have clients who are families, they want to have cooking facilities. They also want to have spa. They also have the, want to have the option of in-room dining. They want to be in a more private setting. I highly recommend Grand Isle um, Spa next door to Sandals, also on the island of Exuma. Okay, so that was Exuma. Hope you enjoyed going through Exuma. But you don't have to just imagine it. You can achieve it. We're accessible. So the next island we come to is going to be Andres Island. It is the largest island. Remember I talked about Andres on the map of the Bahamas? It is um, probably our most least populated island as well. So for those who want to be in a more nature-friendly environment, a rustic type environment. They like being in the backwoods of certain destinations here in the United States. They'll probably see right at home in Andres. They can certainly do bird watching. They can visit our Androsian factory there where we have um, locals make hand batik type um, uh, um, fabrics uh, on cotton, hand, hand batik type designs on cotton. <laughs> I just say that. And at the center is a blue hole. Now, how many of you remember your childhood experiences, jumping into the ocean, jumping into a lake? You can have the similar type of experience in Andres, in one of the blue holes. Imagine just jumping into the water, swimming to shore, jumping into water again. If your clients have families and kids and they want to have those fun type experiences and create memories that their kids and grandkids would talk about forever, then the Blue Holes of Andres is a great experience. If you have clients who are into fly fishing, the bone fishing flats in Andres and Lodges are second to none. I was stationed in Chicago for many years, and I went to visit some of the fishing clubs in Chicago. And the, the, the members would get up and give an assessment of where they were the last month. And one of them said they was in Andres, and he said, you know, the fish came in like clouds. That's what he said. And I was like, okay, I'm going to use that. That's a good description. So if you apply to into fishing, the fish in Andres is said to come in like clouds, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one of our largest phenomena in Andres is called the Town of the Ocean. It's the third largest barrier reef in the world the largest living organism on the planet, ladies and gentlemen. And your clients have an opportunity to experience that alive and in person. It's a, it's a drop that starts from 70 feet all the way down to 6,000 feet, called the abyss, or better known as the tongue of the ocean, seen from space. This is a natural and historical, a natural and geological wonder, ladies and gentlemen. Do not Miss the opportunity to tell your diving clients about the tongue of the ocean. It's a must on their bucket list. And of course, you see to the top right-hand corner, it's a shot of one of the blue holes of Andres. And at the bottom right, it's actually Scott Kelly's shot from space of the waters around the Bahamas, said to illuminate. 
So, Andres, remember for your clients, the accommodations in Andres are certainly upscale, standard, rustic, and everything else in between, and it runs the gamut from fishing lodges that dot the island because of the marshes, the natural environment that's there, that are a haven for bonefish and for fish estuaries, that is, fish come in and have their baby fish and swim back out, it's a safe for them. So bonefish kind of habitat, a lot of the marshes there, and the bonefish is a fish that's used in fly fishing to bait them. If you're an avid fly fisherman, you know you have to spot the fish first. You have a fly and you kind of let him in. Well, the bonefish is said to give fishermen a run for their money. It's not easy to catch, not easy to lure, so it's attractive to fly fishermen. So a lot of the fishing lodges around Andres specialize in bone fishing as well. Now, Tiamo is a sustainable resort on the left. For your clients who want an eco-sensitive type experience, Tiamo is a must. In the center is Small Hole Bay Lodge, kind of the opposite. Small Hole Bay is very rustic, family oriented, has a great following, family type environment, like a and b everybody eats together, everybody gets to know everybody. It's a family type environment. Certainly one to behold and one to experience. We had a group of astronauts that went there a couple of years ago and they wanted to, a place where they would be free to stargaze. Now, astronauts who are always up in the sky still want to look at the sky behooves me, but that's what they wanted, and they enjoyed the time of Small Hole Bay Lodge. That's what they chose. And at the right, we have Kamalami Key, kind of on the opposite end, very upscale, um, rustic, not very upscale, but elegant as well. And now we're going to come to Nassau, which is the capital of the Bahamas, and I'm going to go through some of our natural and historical wonders there. At the bottom left-hand corner of your screen is Queen Staircase. These, these are steps that were actually hand-carved historically by slaves in the Bahamas. And it's always a challenge to see how fast you can get up those steps. I stopped trying after I reached 30. I figured, you know, I'm just too old to even <laughs> make a dent. <laughs> so, but your, your clients are definitely welcome to try their, their hand and see how fast they can get up 66 steps. But also downtown Nassau is the Pompeii Museum that depicts much of our history. It's, a, it's, a, it's also what's called Venue House, where slaves were sold um, that came to the island because the Bahamas was part of the slave trade. And we're independent now, thank God. We're free. But also, we still have a lot of our history depicted there, which our clients can enjoy. We are, were formerly a British colony, so there's a lot of pomp and pageantry. The bottom right-hand corner of your screen depicts the changing, the um, opening of the Supreme Court, which is a big ceremony in the Bahamas, just as they do at Westminster in, in, in London. They do it here in the Bahamas. A celebration for everything. When the guards change at the governor's mansion in the top middle of your screen, there's a ceremony as well. So everything is pop pageantry and ceremony, and your clients can and get to enjoy and experience some of these ceremonies. So moving right along. Of course, we are a food lover's paradise in Nassau. Food, we have something for everyone. At the top right-hand corner of your screen, it's a shot of one of the walking tours that go through downtown Nassau. It's a different type of experience. But for your clients who like culinary, and there are people who actually travel and vacation for food, you know, and including myself, <laughs> that's good, I guess. But we love to experience the food of the destination we travel to. And so the Nassau walking tour, culinary tour, it's a must. You can experience our Kong fritters, which are nice little appetizer made from seafood, uh, similar to what you would call your corn fritters in, in the United States. You can experience it in the Bahamas. We have something called Kong salad, which is like your ceviche. Um, you can stop and have that. We have our drinks called Bahama Mama. We have a drink called Bahama Papa. We have a drink called On the Beach. I won't mention the, the term that went before it, but you get the picture, right? So <laughs> great experiences, of course. And so we have also our police force, world-famous matching band, which is a man-made phenomenon, actually. But they perform all over the world, including for the Queen of England. And of course, they are available to perform for your groups, or special events, conferences, or whatever you may be holding in the Bahamas, and that you would like something different. 
we can um, uh, we have a smaller group called our police force marching pop band that can that can perform for smaller events. But our full gauge police force marching band can also perform for your larger groups as well. And at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, we have a Junkanoo um, um, group. And Junkanoo is our national festival held Boxing Day, historically known as the day after um, Christmas because um, slave masters would box up the food or gifts or goods from the day before, give it to the slaves, and then they would have time off to enjoy their culture. And so what they had done is start building costumes, and they'd take the, the, the um, cowbell and create music, and it has grown into a national festival called Junkanoo, held the day after Christmas, Boxing Day, and New Year's morning. We have groups that are sometimes as large as 1,500, groups that may be as small as five. They create um, what they call their themes and design their costumes according to their themes. So one theme may be fairies or, or um, creatures of the sea, uh, whatever they decide about the costumes, music, choreography, everything would depict their theme and they compete for best music, best performance and that sort of thing. So it's a great festival, a national festival. If your clients, your clients who are interested in participating in festival, then Junkanoo is definitely one of the things they may want to take advantage of. Now this is another man-made wonder in the Bahamas, Discovery Key at Atlantis. And I love talking about Discovery Key because it's such a great story, ladies and gentlemen. Discovery Key houses and is home to the Katrina Dolphins. And if you remember Katrina, the storm in New Orleans, there were 13 dolphins that were stranded in the Gulf after the storm. They belonged to one of the aquariums in, aquariums in New Orleans. Despite efforts to secure their habitat before the storm, they were displaced during the storm and were later found, bound, battered, some, some bound, battered and bruised in the ocean. Atlantis adopted the dolphins and built Sanctuary Key, I mean Dolphin Key, as a habitat for them. Their dolphin encounters, swim, and assisted activities are a great experience, and your clients are certainly welcome to try them. Dolphin Key is open to all visitors of the Bahamas. It's a great story. Um, you can show your support for the Katrina Dolphins by visiting Dolphin Key, by recommending that your clients visit this oh, such beautiful and a haven of facility for the dolphins of Katrina. They're happy, they've reproduced, which is always a sign of happiness. And so I'm glad to say, please, please um, support Dolphin Key at the Atlantis. And of course, for your upscale clients, your high-end clients, our most deluxe property is the one and only Ocean Club on Paradise Island. And one and only Ocean Club serves as the backdrop for Casino Royale. Um, it's located on Paradise Island. Breathtaking, definitely, it's a five-star property. I, I call it a 35-acre tropical paradise. For those wanting the ultimate in luxury, it is definitely our most luxurious resort, ladies and gentlemen. Includes suites, accommodations include suites, cottages, and villas, up to four bedrooms, and 4,800 4, square feet. Has a library that serves cocktails and aperitifs in the evening, and in the afternoon, they serve high tea. Now, the grounds of the Ocean Club have been a picturesque locale for weddings all over the Bahamas, all over Nassau. People come and they take pictures at, in, in, on the grounds of the Ocean Club, right? These we call the Vercel's Glad Gardens. Now, the Ocean Club has a great kids program as well. So, for your upscale clients, definitely I recommend the Ocean Club on Paradise Island. Other accommodations in Nassau definitely runs the gamut. From the Cove at Atlantis, which is definitely sophisticated elegance, it's adult with its adult only swimming pool, private cabanas, and of course suites starting at 600 to over 2,500 square feet. In the center of your screen is the Island House, boutique style with 30 rooms and six rental apartments, two restaurants, cinema, a lap pool, fitness facility, and spa. So it's a different kind of accommodation. And then we have the all-inclusive Malia at Nassau Beach, which is definitely our traditional resort type 
uh, facility, great for families, great for singles, great for couples. If you're not sure where to put your client, Malia is always a great place to put anyone. So you see three different styles of accommodations on the islands of Grand, on the island of Nassau, and definitely we have more. Your area BDM can certainly assist you with finding out or finding more hotels, more options for your clients on the island of Nassau. So now that comes to tips and tools, things that you can use to close sales, to get business done, to increase your business. So this is always the meat of the matter, the fun part, right? Now we have a number of webinars, workshops, and special events throughout the year. So certainly be on the lookout for those as well. We've had some great webinars in the past, including Grand Bahama Island, the Bride of the Bahamas, where we went into more detail on that specific island. So if you want to hear more about Nassau or a certain area, look for our webinars. We just touched the surface today, but I hope you enjoyed what you heard so far. But well, we, there's definitely more to come throughout 2017. And this is certainly a great way to end the new year, giving, uh, to speaking with you guys at NACA. We just launched our Bahamas Specialist Program. I'm so pleased to say we've partnered with Travel Agent Academy and the Institute to bring you this really wonderful world class uh, uh, um, um, educational experience right here, becoming a Bahamas Specialist. There's lots of prizes and awards. We're going to have monthly raffle. We're going to have quarterly winners and yearly winners. You must become a Bahamas specialist. I highly recommend it personally. <laughs> so definitely we also have our visa programs for, for, um, for our special travel agents, of course, and any of you that want to take advantage of visiting the Bahamas during your downtime or take your family there when you're on vacation or just when you're in business and just want to make a vacation experience out of it. So we call it leisure programs, business and leisure, the new terminology. Of course, I know that you know that already, but just want to reiterate it. So definitely you can shoot me an email if you want, to, if you want the link to it, or you can go on myoutislands.com for leisure office on the out islands of the Bahamas. Coming soon, our online marketing setup for travel agents. We're, we've, we're in the process of developing a new travel agent portal that will definitely be able to give you more and more buying for your buck. And definitely, we want to assist you in growing your Bahamas business. It's free, of course. That's my terminology. It's free, uh, definitely, to you agents. You can get flyers, up to minute news feeds, uh, Bahamas information, Bahamas events. Rewards and incentive programs, last minute deals, of course, and information. Definitely. So that's coming soon, so you guys can look out for it. Tools and tips continuing. If you want to follow us on social media, you can definitely at bah visit the Bahamas.com or hashtag it's better in the Bahamas. You can share Bahamas offers and deals with digital postcards and flyers. Just fill out our travel agent form if you. Uh, want me to send you a link to it, you can shoot me an email. My information will be posted at the end of this seminar. And I'm sure Lorraine can also forward you my contact information. A list of Bahamas suppliers and wholesalers here. We're easy to get to. We're easy to purchase. We're just an easy destination, aren't we? Thank you. And of course, don't forget you not to agents in your next put. Make sure you put the dates on your calendar next year, June 21st through June 24th, 2017. You're having your annual conference in the Bahamas, the Bahamas Showcase. Of course, you'll be uh, definitely able to experience a lot of the things we talked about. Make sure you plan to do pre- and post-trips so that you can get to visit some of the other islands in the Bahamas outside of Nassau where the conference is being held. So we look forward to seeing you in Nassau. Make sure you mark your calendars um, with your save the date for your Nassau trip. And one thing I just want to say, our logo aligns with our geographic location of our with the geographic location of our islands. We are a multi-island, multi-experience destination. We can help you align your clients with the best possible vacation experience by finding the right island for your clients the right venue, and the right experiences. That's just for them. That's what we're here for. 
So if you want to find out who your area BDM is for your territory or for your locale, shoot me an email and I can put you in contact with them. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I'll turn it back over to Lorraine uh, for any questions. Wow. I'm, my head is spinning. You have presented such wonderful information, Car. I'm like blown away. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. No, you know, the way you describe everything, and I mean, I didn't know about the logo, and I know that everybody's like, wow, I didn't know that. So thank you for sharing that because you help bring everything together, and you did it in a very visual and comprehensive manner. So. I think this this uh, presentation has been very, very helpful for everybody. A couple of questions that came up, because it sounds like you've got almost everything covered. Someone was just asking, you know, how large is a K? I mean, you describe them. Are they small? You mentioned some people just there's uh, own them. Uh, are there or just a variety of sizes, correct? <laughs> yes, they run the gamut. Some of those are just rocks jutting out of the water. But some private ones have enough land space to have an airstrip as well as a villa. And then you have mm -hmm. ones like Harbor Island that has a three-mile beach on one side and definitely marina facilities on the other. You can walk around the whole entire island in less than two hours. You know, experience wow. it. So it runs the gamut from being on one where the water is almost like touching you to being on a large island. Now, you said some of them are privately owned. Um, yeah. So the, one of the questions that was coming up in the background is for when we're sending clients to there, how do they get from key to island to how, how do they get around if somebody wants to be somewhere for three or four days and then experience another island? What is your recommendation in terms of transportation? For example, if they want to go to Bimini, there's a ferry that leaves from Florida to Bimini. If they have Florida clients, they can definitely do a side trip to Bimini via the Bimini Ferry, Fast Ferry. And um, if they want to take an airplane, then they can take a private small plane to, into Bimini, uh, Cessna or Bonanza or three-seater or depending on the size of the group. Um, Silver Airlines has 34 seat planes that run into uh, many of the major islands in the Bahamas from the South Florida gateways. They can certainly um, do that. They can charter a private plane. They can fly into Nassau and take Bahamas Air to some of the islands. That um, Bahamas Air is our main flight carrier in between the islands and also out of Florida. They can also take a ferry from Nassau, like into Harbor Island, that goes there, mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. They can take, they can fly into Naughty Lutra, for example, if they want to go to Harbor Island, and then take a ferry from Naughty Lutra into Harbor Island. It's about a two-minute boat ride. <laughs> it's not right. It's <laughs> two it's minutes. Like, right. it takes, yes. It takes you longer to go almost, on than over, right? <laughs> you can almost swim. I wouldn't recommend it because it's rough seas in between the island, but it's, it, you can almost swim there. And um, so that's that's one example for like David Copperfield. They'll fly into Georgetown. And drive to a pier, and then they could take a ferry, uh, I mean, a private boat across. If they're in the Abaco, they schedule ferry service in between the keys. I didn't mention Abaco here um, because of time constraints, but Abaco is one of the best destinations to hop around from island to island because of the schedule ferry service. And each island is different. Like Manawaki is the boat building capital of the Bahamas. It's a dry island, no drinks allowed, no alcohol allowed. Guanaki. There's an abundance of alcohol allowed, so go figure. But you know, <laughs> it's like <laughs> very interesting, you know. But definitely, you can go island hopping throughout the Bahamas if you want to. And then from Florida, the ferry into Bimini. There's a ferry out of Florida into Grand Bahama as well, if they wanted to do that. But we, wow. we're here to help them. We're here to help them navigate our waters. Well, that and that's good because that would be like wow. <laughs> I am also including your email address that you have up on uh, this page right now. I'm just going to send it to every, all the uh, attendees in the list so that way they can just cut and paste directly from the message that I just sent. Um, and there is so much to learn. And one, the last question I have, because after the so much to learn part, uh, 
do you recommend they contact you? Is there somebody that you, when you you need when they reach out to you, do you need them to say, "Hey, I'm located in Northern California. I'm located in Texas." What information do you need from the attendees so that way you can best serve them? They can just tell me what city and state they're in. If they're in Canada, they can tell me that. So we have a Canadian office. If they're in Europe, we have an office in London, one in France, one in Germany. <clears throat> if they're in Latin America, we have a Latin American department right here. We have the world covered. We have America covered. <laughs> Lorraine, <laughs> we've got it all covered. <laughs> you do. But if they you send do. me an email, if they send me an email, I can send them the, the major links to, to, to okay. definitely our Grand Bahama. Um, page, our uh, Out Island page, our NASA page, uh, our promotion board page, which is like your CBB, your CBB, I can then yep. definitely shoot that out to them. That would be wonderful. That would be wonderful because I know that for me, speaking for me, um, I am in the San Francisco Bay Area. I am also uh, the chapter director, and I don't know if you okay. have any BDMs in my area, but I would love to have yes. someone come and do a presentation at one of our chapter luncheons at some time next year. Perfect, Lorraine. We have an office in LA. We have two persons okay. three people working out of that office in LA. We have an office in Houston that covers um, much of the South. West as well that LA doesn't cover. LA also covers the North Pacific Coast, and we have a, a office in Atlanta. We have an office in New York. We have definitely have an office in Florida where I'm located as well. And so we have the United States covered. You absolutely do have it covered. So uh, as you mentioned, uh, do you have this screen again that gives the date for the NACTA ASTA showcase? Yes, it's, yes, I can go back there. It's July 21st and to June 24th. June 21st to 24th. Okay, perfect. I want everybody to be able to, to see that also so they can get it on their schedule. And what she is showing right there is a, a clip of a page that is on the NACTA website. So you would go under Annual Calendar of Events. And if you're interested, mm -hmm. make sure to sign up. You just click over there on the register now and it'll give you the price. It's going to be a fabulous event. Uh, will you be able to be there this year? I hope so. If if you guys invite me, <laughs> I think I'm I'm thinking Bob Pro is probably working on that. <laughs> well, definitely a seminar, at sea, and farm trips. So, and then you know, with, with our bleacher programs, you're always welcome to go on your own as well, if that's more convenient. As well, and we have upcoming farm trips that our office will organize. We can we'll we'll shoot out dates um, as soon as we have them available or secured for 2017. Um, we will we'll okay. send it to NACTA to shoot out to their agents as well. Perfect, perfect. Well, thank you, my dear. It was a pleasure working with you. And for those of you in the audience who would like more information, uh, Cara and I just set up another date. Yay, she and I, we have the date penciled in. So pencil in because we all know that reality and calendars sometimes don't agree with one another. But we just scheduled our next webinar together to be on Friday. April 28th. Please stay tuned for more information and uh, we hope to have another uh, webinar going for NACTA with you. So thank you everybody. Uh, you will see a message from me shortly that will give you the link to the YouTube account. Thank you my dear. Do you have any last uh, comments or uh, questions before we head off and I hit the turn off the record button? Well, just remember, it's better in the Bahamas. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Have a good rest of your week and safe holidays. They are just around the corner. Bye-bye.